Okay. <clears throat> so I have to begin with two confessions. The first is that I should have failed my driving test, but didn't. Got away with it. Uh, and the second is that I'm a massive Strictly Come Dancing fan. So much so that I was watching It Takes Two last night, and on it, a former champion uh, gave advice to the current competitors for the final that they needed to dance like they'd already won. And for some reason, that, that statement, dance like you've already won, made me think of my driving test. In which, on my first manoeuvre, I hit the kerb, which is a major fault when an automatic fail. <laughs> my uh, test examiner bloke um, just assumed I was really nervous and said, carry on. But I thought in my head, I've already failed. I relaxed, I flew through the rest of the exam, drove perfectly, only got two minor faults, and got my certificate. So, um, I should have failed, so sorry, I've been on the roads for <laughs> 17, 18 years. Um, but, there was two examples there of a foregone conclusion and this, this struck me as something that we kind of we don't always do in mission because we're so busy thinking about seeds being sown and the fact that it's not a foregone conclusion what the outcome is but I do think there is a foregone conclusion on our mission which is that God is already at work mm -hmm. when we when we relax into it like those dancers if they're dancing as if um, they're already going to win they're going to relax they're going to enjoy themselves they're going to be at their best because they know that you know, whatever the outcome is, that's the way it's going to go. <laughs> they can assume that there's a foregone conclusion and just relax into it, like my driving test, just relax into it. There's a foregone conclusion. There's a foregone conclusion when we're sharing Jesus. God loves that person. He's already calling them to himself. He already loves them like a child and he wants them to know him. So share Jesus like God is already at work in their lives. Mm. Amen. Okay.